weekend, some former Hepzibah High School football teammates gathered for a very special reunion. WJBF Sports Director Brendan Robertson has more. It had the feel of the final day of high school. Everyone signing each other's yearbook. But instead of saying goodbye, these former teammates and coaches were saying, good to see you again. It brought a lot of us together we hadn't seen since they graduated. Some of them have been in the military, they come back, but they're all back here today. At the Hepzibah Community Center, more than 100 former Rebel football players and coaches reunited. And it wasn't a yearbook they were signing, but a newly published book on the football history of Hepzibah High School. It's the product of eight months of research and writing from the voice of Rebel football, Doug Flowers. Well, I had a lot of help as far as uh, once I started interviewing some folks, word kind of spread, and uh, there's over 60 interviews in the book from guys from the very first football team of 1954. Volume 1 covers 1939 through 1987. And while their faces may have aged from the way they look in the book, the stories they share jump right off the page. I can't put it down. When I opened it up and started reading it, you just can't put it down. Wonderful opportunity. Doug's did a great job with this, putting it together. And it's great to get to see people that we haven't seen in years. You can't, you can't really put words into what this is, just to watch these guys having a, a great time getting back together and, and them talking about their memories of the games and, uh, and just to see the, the, the outstanding men that they've all become. John McLeod, known as Big John, devoted more than 30 years of his life to the Hapsaba football program as a player, coach, and administrator. And thanks to the urging of his former players, the stadium will now be named in his honor. Doug told me, he said, uh, there's a bunch of students, about 100 of them, that got together and they're going to do something in your name. And, you know, it was a shock, and then tonight he told me, he said, it's gone through, the board put it through, so it was a great honor. I mean, Having to feel anything named that is a great honor. Next to my dad, he was one of the most influential persons in my life. He helped keep me on the right track and going in the right direction. You know, all the guys I ever played for him that I ever heard, heard about older than me, my older brothers played, and even the guys after me that played for him, all love him, respect him, and uh, he's a good guy. And unlike the Friday Night Lights, the stories contained in this book will never fade. Brendan Robertson, WJBF. News Channel 6.